good evening wherever you're joining me from today this is your girl rosemary and welcome to the queen's cuisine cooking channel i hope you are having a fabulous day so before we look at what we're going to make today i want to appreciate you all again for your continued support on this channel for liking this video for sharing the video with your family with your loved ones and for doing family with me so what are we making today so today we are going to be making obono yes this is obono seed if you for those of you that don't know what it is it is a popular wide uh, african mango or bush mango that's what most people call it but we call it obono this is how it's going to look like and this is the seed but you're not going to use it like this you're going to blend it and just to manage my time today i've actually blended it Obono has a lot of healthy benefits okay so to make our bono the things you will need is of course your old bono like i mentioned you're not going to use the seed as it is you have to blend it make sure it's really smooth and to manage my time today, I've actually blended it. So this is the blended version of the Ogbono. So Ogbono, like you know, is very rich in vitamins and minerals. And also it has a lot of fiber. As a result of the fiber content, it can help promote a feeling of getting full, thereby managing your weight. And also the fiber content has a pos positive impact on your cholesterol level and also uh, help in regulating your blood sugar level so the other ingredients you will need is your crayfish so this is my crayfish and of course you will need some maggi cube I have um, four maggi cubes then you will need your onion and of course your pepper I'm using two habanero pepper today because I love my food to really be hot and spicy if you don't please tone down on your pepper or your your spice so for my meat i'm using uh beef some uh, kidney some liver some tribe and of course i'm also using stockfish so in seasoning my meat i've added in here i already kind of just to manage my time i have my sliced onion which is a whole onion my sliced habanero pepper some salt to taste i'm just going to add my maggi cube i also added some rosemary spice some thyme and of course salt to taste so now um, i'm also going to use mushroom so mushroom is a choice you don't have to add it so this is um this is a choice this is something i want to see in my soup depending on the soup i'm making right so some people may use mushrooms, some people may choose to use uh, the pumpkin leaf or uh, some people may choose to add um, the spinach. It all depends on uh, your choice. So now let's get started with our cooking. So the first thing is I'm going to steam my meat. I'm going to put that on a, a low heat, just make sure my meat is well steamed. I'm going to move this away. Then I am going to then add some salt to, uh, to my mushroom because I want to boil my mushroom. Um, you don't want to overcook your mushroom, right? I just want to bring it to a heat. I'm going to add some black pepper to my mushroom as well. And this is a choice. This is how I like it. I'm going to also turn on my heat and I'm going to add some water. So we are going to let our uh, mushroom heat up a little bit you are not really cooking the mushroom i just want it to heat up so i can strain it this mushroom are already washed so you have to make sure you are washing your mushroom really good i take it a step further i boil it a little bit just um you can you may choose not to boil it you may just pour some hot water over it add some pepper some salt it's a choice but this is really how i kind of get my mushroom ready for my soup so we're going to allow this to heat up a little bit and for to make your soup as well you will need your red oil uh, i'm going to turn off my heat and strain it because the water has boiled 
so I'm just going to strain this you don't need the water this is my mushroom we're going to use it later when we are ready so now I will wait for our meat to fully cook we are going to proceed and we are going to mix up our ogg burner because when you blend your mono really good, it's going to really form a lot of lumps and you don't really want to cook it like this. For me, what I do is I use my oil to break it down to kind of melt it so that when I add it to my stock, it doesn't form lumps. So that is another useful tip. You don't want your soup to all be all lumpy. You want it to be smooth and that is the key for making up mono. So what I'm going to do to avoid my soup from forming lumps. I am going to add some red oil to my can and today I'm going to be using one third cup so I'm just going to measure. I'm going to use two cups of this. You don't really need a lot of red oil so I'm just going to use two cups. That's one third. That's all you need, right? I'm then going to add my ogbono to the red oil and turn on my heat. So this time I'm going to be using a very low heat to melt it because you don't want it to get burnt in the process. So you want, you want to use a very low heat. So again, I'm going to bring the camera closer so you all can see what I'm doing. Just gonna let that simmer and melt my bono and you have to keep an eye on it so it doesn't get burnt I'm going to add my crayfish I'm going to add like three teaspoon of crayfish to my boiling meat Yeah, this is perfect. See, there are no more lumps at all. This is when you add it to your to your meat. So before you add your ogbono to your boiling meat, you want to make sure that you have enough stock. And if the stock you feel is too much, based on the quantity of ogbono you are making please reduce it because the last thing you want is for your soup to be really watery. You can take, you can remove from the stock and then you can add back when you, if it's too uh, thick. I know the quantity I have with regards to my stock is perfect, right? It's not a lot of uh, stock. So I'm just going to go ahead and add, turn off my heat for my mono and then I'm going to add this to my pot. So I'm now going to add this to my pot. I'm going to mix it all together. I'm going to add my mushroom as well. See how thick it is? It's already well thickened. <laughs> Another, let it heat up for another five minutes and then we're going to taste for salt because we want to make sure that there's enough salt and it's tasty so while we wait for our soup to be fully cooked like I mentioned you can use the obono soup for fufu, semovita, plante fufu, otmi fufu whatever you want to use it for you can use it to eat that and again if you are yet to subscribe to my channel Please go ahead and subscribe. Let's do family together. Share this video with your family, with your loved ones. And of course, I'm also going to drop a link on the description section for you to access my book on intermittent fasting and also a link to the Amazon affiliation where you can actually get all your kitchen gadget needs. Please subscribe. <laughs> Now my soup is really really thick so I am going to add some hot water this is hot water I'm going to add a little bit of hot water in there not too much 
you just do what works for you because you know how you love your soup if you like it really thick then that's fine if you are someone like me that doesn't want it to be all that thick go ahead and add some water and just stir, make sure you are turning it well see there's no lumps at all there's no lumps at all this come this came out really good but we still want um mushroom and everything i wanted to cook well so we're going to leave it on there on the fire for another 10 minutes but before that i am going to take for salt i want to make sure i have enough salt It is so tasty. It is at this time you add your spinach if you want to use spinach because spinach doesn't take a lot of time to cook. Or you can add some ugu leaf if that is what you want. So, but I am not adding any of that today. I just added my mushroom, which is going to really be tasty. Really nice. See, this is our albono. I'm going to leave it for another five minutes and our soup will be ready to consume and I'm going to show us the end product you can actually see guys I am so excited our oh, bowl is almost ready I am happy and again like I mentioned if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please go ahead and subscribe let's do family together 2024 is going to be a great year for all of us i am so excited about this year because we are going to be doing family together and i am also going to drop a link on the description section for an access to my book to my website please go to my website to read about me <laughs> to know a little bit about me and also to get a copy of the book intermittent fasting for women even though the book is for women, trust me, it's also good for men as well. <laughs> the men can read it and follow the steps on how to embark on intermittent fasting. Because we all want to live, live a healthy life. We want to enjoy life. We want to be healthy. So please go ahead and check out my book. And also, I'm going to leave a link um, to... Uh, my Amazon affiliation um, where you can access all your kitchen needs any quality kitchen that you love that you want to get please go ahead and check out my website as well so um, let me bring the camera a little closer so you all can see the soup the soup is almost ready and it really really came out nice Hey family, so now the soup is all ready. We made our bono soup today, which is very healthy and rich in vitamins, minerals, and fiber. So that's your obono soup. That's the final product. It's the aroma here is so nice. The soup is ready. I'm going to turn off my heat and I'm just going to let it sit to cool down before anything else so i want to really appreciate you again for spending your precious time with me until i come your way again this is your girl rosemary please stay blessed love yourself love your neighbors treat others the way they love to be treated and stay blessed love you guys bye guys